Hey everybody, I wanted to take some time and talk through what an elimination diet is, why you might consider an elimination diet, and different ways that you can go about an elimination diet, and how I myself am going to do it the next four weeks, and will keep you all updated on my progress and what I am seeing through the experience. So to start off, an elimination diet is essentially what it sounds like. You are eliminating certain foods from your day-to-day -day meals so that you can essentially clear out your digestive tract from things that are typically allergens or irritants in your body. So when you're doing this, uh, most people will do it for four to six weeks and then essentially you reintroduce your body to those specific food sources to see was I triggered by this? Am I having a response from this certain food? And if you are, then you know this is probably a food you should be avoiding. Whether you do have a severe allergy, just a sensitivity, or in general it's just a food that your body itself doesn't respond well to. And so I'm going about it this next uh, about four weeks is what I'm going to do. And you start out with there's a base of certain foods that you want to get rid of that are common allergens. The base allergen foods that you want to eliminate from your diet will include the following. Your wheat and gluten containing products, soy products, dairy products, egg products, and peanut and tree nut products. So those five are the main allergens that you want to eliminate. Now. On top of that, there are some different variations of the elimination diet. Depending on what you want to get tested for, whether you've done a certain food test sensitivity already and you want to confirm that, reaffirm that, it's fine. So I'm actually going to go pretty extensive with mine because I've had some several issues over the past um, couple of months from digestive issues, not being able to poop regularly. I'm having some acne flare-ups that are continuing to be a problem even though I've already cut out some foods, but I'm going to get even more strict on my diet. Um, whether you're having some anxiety, depression, you're always feeling sluggish after you eat, um, being very lethargic. So depending on what some of your symptoms are, you might want to be a little bit more intense with your diet. Migraine headaches. One of my new clients has been having chronic migraines for years. And one thing I'm going to do with her is an elimination diet. And so I'm actually going to be cutting out some more items such as caffeine and alcohol, totally. Added sugars. I am going to incorporate a few fruits, which you can do depending on your elimination diet. I'm going to be cutting out corn products. Um, I'm cutting out a lot of nightshades, which nightshades that a lot of people don't realize, those specific vegetables and fruits when they grow there's a chemical compound in a nightshade that actually is a defense mechanism if you went to a farm or you were raised in agriculture like i was the animals will actually stay away from those foods because they are poisonous there's a reason that they aren't eating those foods because it'll hurt or kill them and us humans for some reason we think that it's okay to eat some of these foods and our bodies might adapt positively to them, but they also can adapt negatively. So I'm cutting out some of the nightshades like eggplant, peppers, um, some of those different nightshade tomatoes. I'm also cutting out some higher histamine foods, which if you have a histamine sensitivity, that can cause hormonal imbalances or acne issues, digestive stomach issues. So I'm cutting out avocado again. I really think I have an avocado issue, but I love the taste. So I'm cutting that out, I'm cutting out bananas, and basically cutting out all fruits except some uh, berries so that I can get the positive antioxidants and phenols from those. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. Um, the hardest thing for me is cutting out all tree nuts. I've been eating about three servings of nuts or nut butter a day, and also cutting out eggs. I've been eating at least two servings of eggs a day. So I think that those two alone have definitely had a negative impact on my body because you shouldn't eat the exact same foods every single day, every single week, back to back to back. 
And this is one of the reasons that a lot of people who do restrictive dieting, competitive bodybuilding, end up having gut issues, SIBO, IBS, because your microbiome needs diversity to flourish and to provide those healthy bacteria that help with the breakdown of food. If we aren't doing that, essentially we're ultimately creating a negative cycle with the healthy bacteria are starting to die off, those unhealthy bacteria are starting to be more populated, and that's when you can see more issues in your gut and your microbiome. So it'll be fun to just go through this journey and I can't wait to share it all with you guys. So please tell me questions that you might have going forward.